famous and recognizable faces on the planet. Why? And she's here in the Kiss <laughs> Breakfast studio. Give it up for Cara Delevingne. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Guys. How are you, Cara? I'm okay. Good to see good. you. Good to see you. Uh, now, do you know what? I didn't do that much research into the movie before no, I saw it. Be- before you, you've seen it? I've yeah, seen it. I've seen it. I saw it yesterday. You haven't yeah. done much research before you've seen it. Before- I'm pretty sure that's enough research. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but beforehand, I didn't want to like watch the trailer. I didn't want to like right, mm-hmm, good. too Great. much into it because I wanted to like, go in there with like a an open mind. And it actually worked out because you were brilliant in yeah. it. You were really, really oh, good. Yeah. Really, really good. Really How long have you been acting for? I feel like I've been acting straight out of the womb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't really know. I feel like, yeah, I've wanted to do this my whole life. So right. it's it's really a dream come true. It's Wicked. very strange I'm sitting here right now actually talking about it. <laughs> well, I want to know, um, and a lot of the girls want to know as well, you got to do your on-screen kiss. Was he any good is the question we want to know. <laughs> um, I feel like when you're an act, you have to be good because it has to look good. And if yeah. you're a bank, it doesn't look good. Okay, um, yeah, well, it looked good, good, but did it feel good? good? You yeah, know. Felt good. Yeah, okay. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's great. You know, he's a, he's a good kissing buddy. Well, I want to talk about your accent, your American accent in this movie. Round of applause for the accent. Point. I mean, yes. it's very, very believable. Sweet. But can you do any other accents? I can only do Cockney and African. That's my repertoire. <laughs> Done. I can. Go on, go on, give oh, me no, a I can do scouse. But do 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 you know what I mean? Do you with an accent I always have like a trigger trigger saying? Yes, yeah, exactly. You have to have like a little uh, you, need a, you need motivation. I'm so much better when I hear it first before I go into yeah, it. Same. Um I could do a good South African accent. Let's hear it. Good. Do you like your coffee black or white? <laughs> <laughs> And then it go, goes on, but then I feel like no, I can't really do it because I'm scared. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Ask one and then I'll maybe try and do it. New Zealand. Uh, no. <laughs> so hard. Now, there's a lot of pranking in this movie. Are you a fan of pranks in real life? Of course. Who, who isn't who, a fan of pranking, though? What's the best prank that you've played on someone? I did one on Charlie the other day, oh, where you basically oh, pretend you're doing a magic trick. Mm. Get them to look in a bottle of water and you just I spray the water in, in their, their face. face. Not just spray it in the face, the whole bottle. It's a classic. It's very simple. It's I love to play pranks on people I love. That's my, yep. my kind of jam. Um, yep. So whether it's like... I don't know, I used to buy these amazing like henna pens and mm-hmm. I used to draw on my friends' faces when they were sleeping at boarding school. <laughs> standard, standard prank, right? But those, those things last for a while. They so do last for a while. That's not great for school. Um, I love just like scaring people, oh, like oh, hiding under things and That's scaring me. them. That's me. Yeah, you know, I've had people hit me before because you kind of jump out and that <laughs> automatic reaction some people's to punch you or like, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> you expect it, you know, if you're doing that. Just yeah. not the face. Not the face. Don't be the face. Not the face. Well, um, and also like filming it while you're doing it in slow yeah. motion is always good. <laughs> I'm on like a couple of group texts where that's what we do yeah. <laughs> to people. Like, it, like um, it. With regards to the book, because the movie's based on a 2008 book, right? Did you actually read the book before did they make you read it? I've never actually you? read the script. Have you not? Honest. No, of course I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you meant so the script dumb. for the book. I mean, the actual script. Yeah, yeah. She's a great actress. She's a great actress. She didn't even need to learn the lines. It was all ad-libbed. <laughs> No, I um I read the script first. Uh, I heard of John Green. Um, I've heard he was an amazing author, but I I read the script. Fell in love with the characters, but I wanted to know Margot so okay. much. I wanted to know yeah. the characters. So reading the book was like he's so detailed and everything he writes is so philosophical and it's he's amazing. Like for teens and like well for our adults too. But he really yeah. puts teenagers in like perspective. Even when as, you're, as an adult, most of them have said to me, you know, it really takes me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is a nice, nice. Yeah, way it's very it. nostalgic. Yeah, um, with yeah. regards to younger Margot. Younger Margot mm. really looks like mm. I know. Cara. Isn't that cool? How much does she look like you when you were actually that age? And did not you have actually at really all. No, not nothing at all. at all? Nothing. No, because well, I I look like a, a weird kind of albino gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> gremlin. Like, like, scary. Like my all of my facial features were at the bottom of my face, and then the rest <laughs> was my forehead. I was a really scary child. <laughs> I didn't look. She's really pretty. Like you know what I mean. She's like a really pretty, like in proportion child. She's in proportion. Yes. This film for me was a lot about friendship and young love. What were you like in your school days? I actually had. I I was quite lucky in love at, at a young age. I my first relationship was like for four years when I was like Aww. five years old. Wow. Nice. But he 
he broke my heart. He broke my heart and ran away to Holland with our Pokemon collection. Oh, <laughs> no, it was really sad. And I've never found him again since. So, Robert Carl Cyberstein, if you're listening, <laughs> I'm going to find you one day. Teach Pikachu to yeah. come off my right. car. Right? Or just give them back. Like, what, what are you doing? We had trainer cards. We had, like, shiny ones. No way. Shinies. Mew, Mewtwo. Um, so that was sad. But I did, um, he left and then I ended up going out with his best friend. I was quite, I was a little philanderer when I was young. That's you know? why he teethed your Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but it was after. I had to get back in. So All right, fair, fair enough. That makes sense. That makes fair sense. Yeah. Now, you're super talented as well. Now, you also, you act, you model, you play the drums, drums. guitar, and you sing. Drums! You're like a cool drums <laughs> as well. That's got to be Any one of the best the things, drums, yeah. It's just a cool chicken Ever. moment. Too, 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 that's what cool. I thought when I was nine, when I was learning. I was like, this is going to be cool one day. <laughs> 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 my parents, like, shoved me into playing music. Not in a bad way, but I just... When I was younger, I just used to hit everything and beatbox. Before I knew right, it was beatbox, right. I just used to make annoying noises with my mouth all yeah. the time. Do you still do that? Yeah. Oh, give Ooh. us a go. Can you do some? Come Ricky, on, Carl. Please, please, please. Rap for you. you do the beat. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, let me just get some water before I start like <laughs> spreading my lip gloss all over the microphone. Prep, prep, prep. Do we gotta do? Do we gotta do? Right. Say drop a beat. Drop a rhythm! Alright. In West Philadelphia, born and raised In the playground is where I spent most of my days Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, no cooling No shooting some b-ball outside of the school Then a couple of guys, they were up to no good Started making trouble in my head That's amazing! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy Loving the Will Smith though Yeah, it's going to be done Yeah, it's always All right, so in the movie, uh, your character Margot gives Q it Helps him get the night of his life, basically mm -hmm. What has been the night of your life so far? If you had to say one, it could be like, you know, you were at a party one day, mm -hmm. it could have been at the end of a fashion show, it could have been anything, somebody's wedding. What has been the night of your life so far? Oh, that's such a hard, it's a hard question. question. It's a hard question. It's a hard question. You must have wow. had some good ones. That's yeah. why. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I can't remember mine. I don't know. I can't remember mine. You really can't remember, remember any. You just can't remember the ones from last month. <laughs> <laughs> my, my sister just got married. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, escape, my like, landscape of nights has probably gone back to the last month. I can't really think about it. It's kind of hard. There was one night, uh, it was a couple of years ago, where yeah. uh, we, I spent the night at a Metallica concert at a festival. Right. And I was standing behind Lars Ulrich. And as a drummer, it was the most incredible thing yeah, yeah, and he yeah. gave me his drumsticks and I was no like no way should I lick them or is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, will this give me more drumming talent <laughs> um, and then after that we went to this incredible house somewhere in the middle of the country and ma met Whitney Houston a couple of months ago. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, seriously? And Mariah Carey and we all did like tequila shots and oh, I was standing there going That's pretty amazing. That's right? pretty amazing. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. It was like incredible yeah. like Weird. That's shock. a big look. That's a yeah, big look. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Now, in terms of beauty, we know that you can't live without your tweezers. I've seen you say that many a times. But <laughs> aside of those, what, what else? are you talking about? I don't use tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> what <Naturally. type> of... <laughs> but aside from that, what mm. beauty product can you not live without? Um, ooh, eyebrow gel. Because uh, these puppies are so long and they just droop into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> my my grandmother, who actually passed very sadly, but she had. The hugest eyebrows, and they also like just went into her eyes all the time. So you she got had to trim eyebrows. Yeah, all right, every right, right. every week. Um, but probably, I'm all about natural beauty products. Mm -hmm. um, there's this amazing uh, brand called the Goddess of Skin. You can look her up on Instagram, but it's all very natural. She actually makes all the products like during a full moon under the sky. Oh, really? And it's all like really incredible stuff, though. Like natural products. Natural. Oh, natural. Oh, all natural. right. So we've got a game for you before oh, yeah, you go. Yeah, I like Cara, a game. Right? I want to play. So oh. Melvin, go ahead. Right. So basically. We want to get deep into your psyche right now. So we're oh. going to ask you the secret to various things. So first oh, no. question. Now, you've got about 14 million followers plus on Instagram. Wow. Yeah. So what's the secret to a good selfie? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the secret to a good selfie? Oh, I don't know. You don't we had Little Mix in a little while ago. Yeah. They said taking it by natural light, by window. That's their, oh, that's their secret. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's a you good one. Well done, Little Mix. Ditto. No, I think... Uh, it's always fun to have something really weird going on in the background. Yeah, right. So yeah, people yeah, look at it going, oh, it's a selfie. And then you're like, wait, is that a, you know, or it's yeah. also really funny if you like people take selfies and there's like a toilet in the back. I'm not saying do that, <laughs> but it's always, always makes me laugh. Um, I'm more, I'm, I like now kind of doing more selfies, which are like funny apart from, yeah. or I just don't do them as much unless I like, a huge group one is always fun. Yeah. When I, I first started following arms. you on Insta, there was a lot of funny faces and a lot of like yeah. eyes looking in different directions yeah. and stuff. They were cool. I like those. Yeah, I, that's, More of those, that's my jam. <laughs> okay. So, what is the secret to a good catwalk? Because all of us tried it in the studio and we can't get yeah, the walk on point. My legs are too point. short. 
the funny thing is, is I think when I first started, I walked like a s- stiff object, and someone said to me, "You need to walk like you've just had sex." <laughs> For real? You, you don't really kind of know how I get it. down after sex. <laughs> I slide across that floor <laughs> like a done dada. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, listen, Cara, thank great. you so much for passing by. Good luck with the movie. Give up a car with the movie. Thank you. I've got the worst image of Melbourne in my head. It's unreal. I can't, like, slide in. Don't be that. You're doing that. Just yeah. not the face. Not the face. Don't be the face. No, 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 not the face. Well... Uh, and also, like, filming it while doing it in slow yeah. motion is always good. <laughs> I'm on, like, a couple of group texts where that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> to people like it, like it. Um, it. With regards to the book, because the movie's based on a 2008 book, right? Did you actually read the book before did they make you read it? I've never actually you? read the script. Have you not? Honest. No, of course I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you so meant the script for the book. I'm not the actress. She's a great actress. <laughs> She's a great actress. She didn't even need to learn the lines. It was all ad libs. No, I um I read the script first. Uh, I heard of John Green. Um, I've heard he was an amazing author, but I I read the script, fell in love with the characters. But I wanted to know Margot so okay. much. I wanted to know yeah. the characters. So reading the book was like he's so detailed and everything he writes is so philosophical and it's he's amazing. Like for teens and like well for our adults too. But he really yeah. puts teenagers in like perspective. Even when as, you're, as an adult, most of them had said to me, you know, it really takes me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is a nice, nice. Yeah, it's very nostalgic. Yeah, um, with yeah. regards to younger Margot. Younger mm. Margot really looks like mm. I know. Cara. Isn't that cool? How much does she look like you when you were actually that age? And did not you have... actually at really all. No, not nothing at all. at all? Nothing. You know, because well, I I look like a, a weird kind of albino gremlin. <laughs> oh, gremlin. Like, like, scary. Like my all of my facial features were at the bottom of my face, and then the rest were my forehead. I was a really scary child. <laughs> I didn't look. She's really pretty. Like you know what I mean. She's like a really pretty, like in proportion child. She's in proportion. Yes. This film for me was a lot about friendship and young love. What were you like in your school days? I actually had. I, I was quite lucky in love at, at a young age. I my first relationship was like for four years when I was like five Aww. years old. Wow. Wow. That was nice. But he he broke my heart. He broke my heart and ran away to Holland with our Pokemon collection. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it was really sad. And I've never found him again since. So, Robert Carl Cyberstein, if you're listening, <laughs> I'm going to find you one day. Ditch Pikachu and yeah. come and find right. Cara. Or just give them back. Like, what, what were you doing? We had trainer cards. We had, like, shiny ones. No way. Shinies. Mew, Mewtwo's. Um, so, that was sad. But I did, um, he left and then I ended up going out with his best friend. I was quite, <laughs> yeah. I was a little philander when I was young. I don't know why he teased your Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was after. I had to get back in. All right, fair, fair enough. That makes sense. That makes fair sense. Yeah. Now, you're super talented as well. Now, you also you act, you model, you play the drums, drums. guitar, and you sing. Drums! You're like a cool <laughs> drums as well. That's got to be Any one of the best the plays things, drums, yeah. It's just the cool chicken Ever. rabbit. Too, too, too That's cool. what I thought when I was nine, when I was learning. I was like, this is going to be cool one day. <laughs> <laughs> my, my parents, like, shoved me into playing music. Not in a bad way, but I just... When I was younger, I just used to hit everything and beatbox. Before I knew right, it was beatbox, right. I just used to make annoying noises with my mouth all yeah. the time. Do you still do that? Yeah. Oh, give oh. us a go. Can oh, you do some? Come on, Carl. Please, please, please. Rap for you. you do the beat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me just get some water before I start. Like, <laughs> <laughs> spreading my lip gloss lips, all over your microphone. Prep, prep, prep. Can you go to your school days? I actually had... I, I was quite lucky in love at, at a young age. I, my first relationship was, like, for four years when I was, like, five Aww. years old. Wow. Wow. That nice. But he broke my heart. He broke my heart and ran away to Holland with our Pokemon collection. <laughs> oh, no. no. It was really sad. And I've never found him again since. So, Robert Carl Cyberstein, if you're listening... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find you one day. <laughs> Pikachu yeah. and come and find right. Cara. Or just give them back. Like, what, what were you doing? We had trainer cards. We had, like, shiny ones. No way. Shinies. Mew, Mewtwo's. Um, so that was sad. But I did, um, he left and then I ended up going out with his best friend. I was quite, <laughs> yeah. I was a little philander when I was young. I don't you know? know why he teased your Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but it was after. I had to get back in. Something. All right, fair, fair enough. Play. That Surely. makes sense. That makes fair sense. Yeah. Now, you're super talented as well. Now, you also, you act, you model, you play the drums, drums. guitar, and you sing. Drums! You're like a cool drums <laughs> as well. That's Got to be Any one chick of the that plays the drums is yeah. just a cool chicken rabbit. That's what cool. I thought when I was nine, when I was learning. I was like, this is going to be cool one day. <laughs> <laughs> my parents like shoved me into playing music, not in a bad way, but I just, when I was younger, I just used to hit everything and beatbox. Before I knew right, it was beatbox, right. I just used to make annoying noises with my mouth all yeah. the time. Do you still do that? Yeah. Oh, give oh. us a go. Can you do some? Come Ricky, on, Carl. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Ricky. You do the beat. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, let me just get some water before I start. Like, <laughs> spreading my lip gloss all over your microphone. Prep, prep, prep. What do we gotta do? What do we gotta do? Right. Say drop a beat. Drop a rhythm! <laughs> <laughs> 
In West Philadelphia, born and raised in the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, no cooling, no shit, some b ball, lots of dollars, cool. Then a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my head, that's a big one. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Loving the Will Smith, though. Yeah, it's going to be done. Always. In the movie, your character Margot gives Q, helps him get the night of his life, basically. What has been the night of your life so far? If you had to say one, it could be like, you know, you were at a party one day. Mm-hmm. It could have been at the end of a fashion show. It could have been anything. Somebody's wedding. What has been the night of your life so far? Oh, that's such a, it's hard, a hard question. question. It's a hard question. It's a hard question. You must have wow. had some good ones. That's why. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the selection is... I don't know. I can't remember mine. I don't know. I can't you, remember mine. Oh, you can't one remember any. <laughs> you just can't remember <laughs> the ones from last month. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, escape, my, my like landscape of nights has probably gone back to the last month. I can't really think about it. It's kind of hard. There was one night, uh, it was a couple of years ago, where yeah. we, I spent the night at a Metallica concert at a festival. Right. And I was standing behind Lars Ulrich. And as a drummer, it was... The most incredible thing, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. gave me his drumsticks. And I was no like, way. Should I lick them or is that? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, Will this give me more drumming talent? <laughs> um, and then after that, we went to this incredible house somewhere in the middle of the country and ma- met Whitney Houston a couple of months ago. <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, seriously? And Mariah Carey, and we all did like tequila shots. And oh, I was standing there going, word. That's pretty amazing. That's, amazing. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. It was, it was on point. I mean, yeah. it was very, very believable. Sweet. But can you do any other accents? I can only do Cockney and African. That's my repertoire. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I can. Go on, go on, give us oh, a no, 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 no. I can do scouse. But do 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 you know what I mean? Do you with an accent I always have like a trigger trigger saying. Yes, yeah, exactly. You have to have like a little uh, you, need a, you need motivation. I'm so much better when I hear it first before I go into yeah, it. Same. Um I could do a good South African accent. Go on, go on. Do you like your coffee black or white? <laughs> <laughs> And then it go, goes on, but then I feel like, no, I can't really do it because I'm scared. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Ask one and then I'll maybe try and do it. New Zealand? Uh, no. It's <laughs> so hard. Now, there's a lot of pranking in this movie. Are you a fan of pranks in real life? Of course. Who isn't a fan of pranking, though? What's the best prank that you've played on someone? I did one on Charlie the other day, oh, where you basically right. pretend you're doing a magic trick, mm. get them to look in a bottle of water, and you just and spray the water in, in their, their face. face. Not just spray it in the face, the whole bottle. It's a classic. It's very simple. <laughs> I love to play pranks on people I love. That's my, yep. my kind of jam. Um, yep. So whether it's like... I don't know, I used to buy these amazing, like, henna pens, and mm-hmm. I used to draw on my friends' faces when they were sleeping at boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> standard, standard prank, right? But those, those things last for a while. They so do last for a while. That's not great for school. Um, I love just, like, scaring people, oh, like, right. hiding that's under me. things yeah. and that's scaring me. them. That's me, that's yeah, me. You know, I've had people hit me before because you kind of jump out, and that <laughs> automatic reaction, some people's to punch you, or, like, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> you expect it, you know, if you're doing that. Just yeah. not the face. Not the face. Don't be the face. Not the face. Well, um, and also like filming it while you're doing it in slow yeah. motion is always good. <laughs> I'm on like a couple of group texts where that's what we do yeah. <laughs> to people. Like it, like it. Um, with regards to the book, because the movie's based on a 2008 book, right? Did you actually read the book before did they make you read it? I've never actually you? read the script. Have you not? Honest. No, of course I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you meant so the script dumb. for the book. I mean, the I mean, she's, great, yeah, yeah. Great, she's a great actress. She's a great actress. She didn't even need to learn the lines. It was all ad libs. <laughs> No, I um I read the script first. Uh, I heard of John Green. Um, I've heard he was an amazing author, but I I read the script. Fell in love with the characters, but I wanted to know Margot so okay. much. I wanted to know yeah. the characters. So reading the book was like he's so detailed and everything he writes is so philosophical and it's he's amazing. Like for teens and like well for our adults too. But he really yeah. puts teenagers in like perspective. Even when as, you're, as an adult, most of them have said to me, you know, it really takes me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is a nice, nice. Yeah, way it's very it. nostalgic. Yeah, um, with yeah. regards to younger Margot. Younger Margot mm. really looks like mm. I know. Cara. Isn't that cool? How much does she look like you when you were actually that age? And did not you have actually at really all. No, not nothing at all. at all? Nothing. You know, because well, I I look like a, a weird kind of albino gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> gremlin. Like, like, scary. Like my all of my facial features were at the bottom of my face, and then the rest <laughs> was my forehead. I was a really scary child. 